Hey guys, Scotty here. I uh, just want to give a huge thank you to everyone here who has just purchased my brand new Lightroom preset pack, uh, the Indonesia collection. Um, it's a collection of eight presets that you can use for your raw or JPEG images. Um, this collection was created by Tyler and myself on a recent trip to Indonesia. Um, we worked with uh, Rusty Australia whilst in Indonesia. Um, I wanted to create a, a kind of comprehensive um, editing style for batch editing for a whole bunch of photos whilst we were in Indonesia shooting for this company. Um, just And along with like um, our original photos as well, um, our landscape photos, lifestyle photos. Uh, so we really wanted a kind of cohesive style um, across the entire set of photos that we uh, created whilst in Indonesia. So this is what we've come up with um, and I've now put it out for you guys to, uh, it's now available for purchase uh, for you guys. So thank you so much for purchasing. We're gonna get straight into it today. I wanted to give a quick tutorial and just a quick rundown on how to import um, the Lightroom presets into Lightroom so you can start using them s as soon as possible. So today we're gonna look at doing that and then I'm going to give you, give you a quick rundown on editing each photo individually. Um, we'll do some quick edits on some photos here that I've got of Tyler, Caleb, Deanne and of myself as well. Um, but first of all, well, let's get stuck into it. Um, so once you have uh, purchased your Lightroom preset pack, you're going to go into Lightroom and then you're going to go up to the top here to File, sorry Lightroom, Preferences. And then you've got a couple of tabs along the top here. Um, the only one you're going to concern yourself with today is the presets tab. Uh, don't worry about all the others. So we're going to jump into presets tab, go into show Lightroom presets folder. You're going to double click on Lightroom and then double click on develop presets. From here, all you need to do is drag and drop your folder you've downloaded from my website from your purchase. Um, so we've got it right here, the Indonesia collection. Just drag and drop it straight into this folder. Then you're going to close close this and then what you need to do is then restart Lightroom. So just go ahead and do that guys and then we'll jump straight back into editing. Okay guys, so now that you've imported the Indonesia collection preset pack, um, it should appear here in the left uh, dialog box or the left window here under presets. Uh, so you'll find that right here. So just click the down arrow and it's gonna come up with all the presets that were available in the pack that you've purchased. So we've got Changu one, Flores one, two, three, four and Ubud 1 and 2, and then also Uluwatu 1. So when you hover over these presets, guys, it's gonna give you a, a quick kind of preview of what's happening with the photo that you've selected. So for example, Changu 1 is gonna give you a little pre uh, preview just up here. Um, you can see it there. And then when you move into uh, Flores 1, 2, and you can see that. Um, my laptop is a little bit slow at the moment, so that may change over the course of this video. <laughs> Um, so what you want to do, and just a word of warning when you do purchase presets guys, is that the preset is designed to just give your photos an overall look. Um, it's not the final product when you apply the preset, you still need to tweak it after that. And please just keep in mind that with everyone using different cameras, um, shooting in different conditions, so different lighting, the presets are going to affect your photo differently, perhaps the way that they've affected mine. Obviously, if you were shooting at the exact same time, at this exact same location, and you um, applied this preset, you're going to get a really similar result to what I get here. Um, so what we're going to do, um, to upload all your photos, you first need to open Lightroom and go File, and then down to Import. You can create a new catalog if you want to create a new catalog, um, but I just import photos and video, and then select what photos I want to import. Um, everything here that we do in Lightroom is self-taught, guys. Um, we've had to work this all out ourselves, both Tyler and I. So if there's something you disagree on, uh, that's fine. Um, but yeah, this is just how we um, how we work. This is our workflow. And if you're interested in learning it our way, then fair enough. Um, so here we go. We're gonna. So you've imported all of your photos into Library. Select the photo that you want to edit. Move into the Develop tab. It'll bring up this photo here. And a handy little tip, if you wanted to get a before and after um, whilst you're editing, um, left, the left side here is before, after is on the right, um, you apply your preset and it will affect that right side of the photo. So you can constantly see back and forth of um, the before photo and then the after photo. Personally, I prefer to work um, just on the one image that takes up the whole screen. And then just hit the backslash key um, on the top right hand corner of your keyboard and that'll give you the before and after. So we've applied that preset. 
And then what we want to do, we're going to move over here to the right. Um, and the first thing I notice when you apply the preset to this particular image is that it's still quite contrasty. There's a lot of shadows happening, but there's also this overexposed area with a lot of highlights um, on the left hand side of the image. So we're going to fix those up before we get the final product. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to up the exposure just a little bit here. Um, just to bring it out a little bit more, it's a little bit dark. Um, we're going to drop the contrast just a little bit. Um, that's going to give you a more faded type of look. Um, the shadows, there's still quite a few shadows um, in and around the wagon. Um, just with the time of day that we shot, it was quite sunny, so those shadows are pretty pronounced. Um, and same through here um, with what Tyler's wearing on her arms as well. So we're going to bring up those shadows just a little bit more, just to lighten the image. Leave the whites where they are, I think it's okay. Um, the blacks, depending on how dark you want those to be and or how light that you want them to be, just toggle along left or right. I think the initial image that I did edit did have a little more black in it, so we're going to leave it about there, I think. Um, what we're going to do next is move over and grab this little tool right here. So this is the graduated filter. And what you're going to do is double click on the effect tab here. So that's going to reset all your toggles down the middle to zero. Um, and we're going to work from there. So you're going to drag it from this corner down on the angle that you want to the area that it's going to affect. So it's going to affect more of this top corner wherever this line stops. So I think we'll start about there and we'll see how we go. You don't want it to affect um, your main subject too much. So what we're going to do is drop the exposure a bit. I'm going to come down to the highlights and we're going to drop those um, quite a fair bit, maybe even all the way, um, just because that's affecting that quite a lot. And then from there, we might tackle the whites and just drop them down a little bit as well. So you can see it's affecting that top left hand corner a little more than it's affecting this bottom bit. So you can probably drag it out just a little bit more. Okay, so we click done on that. Um, what we're gonna do then is move up into this brush section here. Double click on the effect tab again to reset your toggles. Um, if nothing's moved, that's fine. You can go ahead and start editing. Um, and then the brush size here to increase your brush size or decrease your brush size, you're gonna go and toggle between the left and right brackets. Um, so we're gonna start with one that's about there. And once again, we're going to drop the highlights right down and then start brushing in these areas that we want to reduce the highlights on. So you can see that it's affected a few of these areas up in this top left hand corner and on the side here. I'm going to drag it through into this section and then maybe just a little bit through here as well. And then once again, just head into the whites, you can drop those a little bit too. So this is a more targeted approach at editing a specific area. I do this with most of my photos if there's one part that I don't particularly like in the image. Um, so it's a handy little tool. So it's looking good. We're going to toggle back and forth between the before and afters. So here we have the before and the after. And it's looking really similar to the original edit that I did do um, with this image. Uh, one more thing I might do is just... I might just bring out the shadows just a little bit more. Just to lighten that. I think that's looking pretty good. You can go through with these brushes here and the other tools and you can correct other small areas that you don't like or if you wish, take it into Photoshop and um, kind of edit it some more in Photoshop. But for the most part, that's how I edited this particular photo with the preset Chungu 1. Um, we'll move on to another photo. Okay, guys, so we're going to move on to our second image now. And for this image, we're going to actually use the preset called Flores 4. Um, so go ahead and apply that preset. Now this preset does a really good job straight off the bat of how it is. Um, it works really well for those really sunny conditions um, and particularly if you've got a lot of blue water or some uh, even greeny tinged water that you want to kind of correct and create to make a little more blue. Um, we're going to go through and adjust this a little bit later so it's not as saturated, um, make it look a little more realistic. Uh, the water was, as you can see before, it was definitely more green. It was still super clear. This is one of the most incredible places I've ever visited. Uh, in this photo, we've got my buddy Caleb. Um, now, we created this preset because it works uh, well with the blue tones, the blue colors in an image, as well as uh, some darker skin tones. Now, Caleb was a little darker than what Tyler is. Tyler was more fair. So this one worked really well for Caleb's images. Um, so go ahead, apply that preset, toggle in between the before and after um, windows if you wish, but we're gonna go back and use the full frame window. And then the first thing I notice is that the horizon is crooked 
because I can't take a straight photo to save my life. So we're gonna go through and just correct that a little bit. You can use the angle tool here if you wanted to. I prefer not to, I just prefer to like rotate the entire image. You can head down to the bottom of the um, dialog boxes here and actually rotate it with this transform tool if you want to as well. Um, that to me is just too tedious, so I just do it this way. Um, but yeah, up, totally up to you guys. So that's looking a little more straight. We might just change it a little bit more. Just slightly, and yeah, we can fix it up later. Anyway, so the image at the moment is probably a little bit too bright. It was full sun, so we're gonna bring that down just a little bit. Contrast, we're gonna bring down a little bit as well. Uh, maybe to around, just keep it around that 30 mark for the moment. The thing I love most about this image is actually the clouds in the background and how um, it just kind of, contrast well with the water here as well so it's one of my favorite things about this image uh, it was another image shot for rusty um, so we're gonna come down to the whites and we might just bump them up bump them up a little bit they might bring out the clouds just a little bit more keep it around the 15 mark for the moment um, adjust the blacks if you want to it's just gonna probably put a little more shadow in actually where there's already shadows you can bring that up too you still got some space with this preset to bring up the shadows a bit more we might do that Bring it up to around 85, 86. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna muck around with, so the first time we're gonna touch base on this uh, this color panel, this, <laughs> this color panel. So what you can do here, so there's a HSL slider on the left. Um, and then to utilize that, you just wanna click this little circle with the arrows above and below it. And then you can kind of scroll through all these colors and you can see on the right hand side, as I scroll um, in that panel, it'll pick up whatever color um, the crosshair is actually on. So we're going to start with these blues and aquas first. I'm going to change that a little bit. Um, so this is just a handy little tool to kind of recognize what color you're working with in the image. So we're going to head back to color. I'm going to head into the blue tab. And just for exaggeration and just to show you how much this will affect it, we're going to change, we might actually go to the aquas and see how much that changes this. Um, you can see how much this will actually change this color. So we're gonna bring it, we're actually not gonna keep it as dark as what it was, it looks a little bit too fake to me. So we're gonna bring that up. Saturation, you can bring it down a bit if you want to. You can also move into the blue. So this is gonna affect this sky um, above the top here. So we might bring it down just a little bit. Saturation, I don't wanna muck with that too much. I don't like things to be too oversaturated. Um, and the only other one we're gonna muck around with today is the orange tab. Um, so this is going to affect Caleb's skin tone. Um, so he's already quite dark. So, you know, you could go like crazy and you can muck around with this color if you want. Um, but we're going to keep it about, keep it about minus nine, maybe minus, I'll go minus 12. Again, you can muck around with the saturation if you want to. Um, I prefer that to be a bit more color in it. And that is pretty much it for this image, guys. So Flores 4 worked really well with just about everything we shot in open sun that had water in it. So that's a really good um, preset to use if you've got a similar environment. Uh, we'll just toggle back and forth between before and after. So before, it's had a lot of green tones or green tinges through it, um, some blues. And then we bring it back, we've got more of like um, the orange, the tans, and the blues in this one. So as far as I'm concerned, that one worked really well. So you can go ahead and export this. Um, if you want to crop it for Instagram, I'll just give you guys a quick tip on cropping for Instagram. Um, so just head over to the padlock icon here. Um, so at the moment it's on original. You want to change it to four by five or eight by 10. And that is the maximum uh, Instagram crop ratio um, to get a portrait photo. So we're gonna crop it about there. So we've still got the kind of two thirds uh, scale happening within the image. And if I was happy with that, I can go ahead and hit file, export, and then you can export it to wherever you want. Just rename, just rename your preset or rename your image, I should say, and you can save it to wherever you want. Um, I've already saved that image, so we're not gonna bother and we'll move on to the next preset. Okay guys, so we're moving into the final image that I'm gonna show you um, how to edit with the presets. Um, and that is this image of Tyler again. Um, again, we've got lots of blue water, blue sky, um, but we are going to use a different preset that will give a different look to the last image that we used of Caleb. So, for this image, we're going to use Flores 1. If you just hover, hover over Flores 1, it should come up with a preview. 
Um, so this one has more of a faded look than the last one did. Um, it does wash everything out a little bit more. So if you enjoy that type of look, this one's gonna be good for the images that you're going to be using. Uh, first thing we're gonna do again is fix that horizon because God knows I couldn't take a straight photo. Okay, so let's try and get that straight. Okay, so that's a little better. Maybe just bring it back just a smidge. Okay, so this one does an extremely good job in full sun again um, of almost correcting the image um, to look exactly how the preset should when it's finalized. Uh, what we're going to do here though is I don't particularly like um, a lot of the oranges through Tyler's hair. It's actually a little blonder than that, probably a little more yellow. Sorry, Tyler. Um, and just fix up the skin tones and maybe fix this water just a little bit. Um, but let's see how we go. We'll work through each toggle and uh, see how we go with the image. So we've straightened it up and then we're going to fix the orange tones first. So we're going to come down to that orange tab again. Um, and then we're going to toggle through on the illuminance section and just lighten that up just a little bit. Maybe add or decrease the saturation just a little bit. So we might just leave it where it was. So just hit Control Z to leave it where it was. And then again, if you want to change it to suit the skin tone you're trying to edit for, just toggle back and forth between the color here and the orange section. But we're going to leave it where it was. I'm going to head into the yellows. And that should get rid of a lot of those orange tones that you see in the hair. You can mask out sections um, on the body if you just want to um, affect a certain area. Um, to do that, just hit the brush and then hit O and that's going to turn everything here to a red color. So then you can go over and mask over certain areas, for example. Um, hit O again to get rid of it. It's still selected though um, and you can really affect every area here. Um, but we're not obviously going to do that. Um, so we're going to get rid of that brush stroke. Um, so that's looking a little bit better. And then we're just going to bring the exposure down just a little bit. I think it's still a bit too bright. Not even on the right thing. Let's just hit done on that and then bring our exposure down. Not too much. We leave it at um, minus 0 0.15 at the moment. And then we're going to come back down to the blues. Um, hit that HSL slider again uh, and then just scroll through and see what color you're working with. So it's mostly aqua in here. So we'll head back into the aqua tab. And I'm going to bring down that saturation just a little bit. It's probably a little bit too much for me. You can adjust how dark or how light you want this with the luminance tab as well. I'll keep it around there. Um, then once again, just go through and just touch up any areas that you wanted to fix, um, more specific areas. Um, for this image, I'm going to leave it how it is. Um, I'd probably go back through, crop for Instagram again, just hit original, change that to 4x5 and 8x10, and just adjust it to where you'd want the image to be cropped. Um, I'd probably want to keep all these clouds in because that is the centerpiece of the image as well as Tyler's um, clothing that she's wearing for this particular image for Rusty. Um, but yeah, so far I'm really enjoying how that's looking. Um, the clouds, you can bring out the clouds a bit more if you wanted to, you just go over it with the brush tool. Uh, so for example, we could probably bump up the contrast on this brush tool, increase the brush size, <coughs> and just brush in a few sections here to either lighten it or darken it. And you can actually hit the clarity and the dehaze tool, and that should actually help bring out some more of that. It's obviously too much. <coughs> Hit up to the whites. You can make it a little bit whiter if you wanted to in some areas. Obviously keep in mind that you don't want to overdo it. Um, so just dial back in all the toggles here if it's too much. Yeah, overall that preset worked really well with this particular image. Um, so that was Flores 1. So there's the before and of course the after as well. Um, we we're both really happy with this image. Um, hope you guys enjoy the presets that you've purchased. Um, I will be putting out more preset tutorials with all these other um, presets available. Um, we'll go through Ubud 1, Ubud 2, and Uluwatu maybe in a different tutorial, but these are really good if you've got um, the kind of lush greens, you've got some darker shadows, um, darker images that are more underexposed. So this was great for waterfalls. Um, as you've seen, the waterfall photo with Deanne and Tyler actually edited with um, Ubud 1. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the enjoy using the presets. Um, it's taken me a long time to kind of dial this in and get it ready for you guys. Um, but I would love any feedback. If you can leave any feedback on my website on your presets, 
Uh, tag me in your photos. Um, I'd love to see how you guys are going with the edits. But for the meantime, um, thank you so much for purchasing these guys. I really appreciate your support. Um, without your support, Tyler and I just couldn't do what we're doing at the moment. And um, we really do value uh, the support that you guys give us day in and day out. Um, for the meantime, have a great day. Um, give me any feedback that you um, enjoy about the presets, what you don't like. Um, any criticism, criticism is welcomed. Um, it's going to help me improve these and also uh, create further ones for you guys as well. So uh, with that said, um, have a great day and I'll see you guys around on Instagram. Bye.